Hello everyone. Good day, my beautiful people. Good afternoon to you. Good morning to you, the people that are watching me from. You are welcome to my channel once again. So guys, today, so guys, today I want to teach you how we are going to cut this beautiful um gown. This year, um, the material I will be using is about two and a half inches. So I will fold the material into four. That is the front and the back side. I will cut it once. So that is it. So the only thing you need to do for me is just to pay attention and watch the video to the end so you can be able to learn and understand what I'm going to teach in this particular video. So I'll fold my mind for So after folding it, you place it on your table. Make sure that it's, you minus the zipper allowance because it's going to have zipper at the back. So minus the zipper allowance, except you don't want yours to have zip. You can actually add a um, button. But mine is going to have zip. So I have placed it like this. You can see it's very well. So first of all, what I'm going to get now is the neck. The neck is three and a half inches. That is what I'm going to get um, first. Um, first, but I have to get my my normal measurement. So the normal measurement is thirty eight. Now I'll be adding extra three inches, making it um forty. For folding allowance, making it forty. So I'll mark my forty. Um, the neck since I've gotten the normal measurement the full length I'm going to get the neck which is three and a half inches then the shoulder is uh, 14 inches divided by two it's going to give me seven inches and I'll add extra one inches for for the sewing allowance for the armhole so after I've gotten this I'm going to get my my armhole measurement which is seven inches and I used to say if it's the if the person has sewing the clothes for his fat, you can actually make it eight or nine inches. Depending on what you want. So I've gotten my armhole, I've gotten my bust measurements, my under bust measurements, my waist measurement. Then what I'm going to do um, get now is um the hip measurement, which is ten inches. So I have drawn it, so I just draw the line connecting my armhole. So I will just connect my shoulder to my armhole, then use my French cuff to curve my armhole, which I have done now. So the next thing I'm going to do, guys, just to get um the normal body circumference, the body circumference. But I want to bring down the neck, which I bought the, the neck down by one and a half inches. Then slit my shoulder by half inches in the sand. So I don't know whether I can actually see this chalk. I'm using the same color of the chalk with the clothes I'm scotting. So sorry about that. So I'll be getting my normal body circumference, that normal measurement of the person. So the bust of the person is 36 divided by 4. It's going to give me 9 and a half. So I'll get my 9 and a half inches. Then I'll add extra 2 inches for sewing allowance. My under bust is um, 34. My waist is 35. So I'm going to divide them by 4. I'll divide them by 4. So the, the, the under bust measurement is giving me 8 and a half quarter. So then the, the waist measurement is giving me 8 one quarter. So almost the same. I'll use the same measurement. I'll add extra 2 inches for sewing allowance. You need to add the allowance so that you don't run out of allowance so that even if the person wants to lose it, you can actually lose it. So that is the essence of adding the allowance. So I add extra two inches for sewing allowance. So that is it. Then the hip measurement is a 44 divided by 4. It's given me it's given me 11 inches. Let's find out.
So I'll mark my I'll mark my eleven inches. I'll put extra two inches for sewing allowance. I will now connect everything I have marked together. Please bear with us. If you cannot see the chop properly, bear with us. This is the chop we have for now. So please, but you, can, you will see it when I will cut it. And we still have a lot, a lot to learn on this video. So please still follow us and watch the video to the end. I'm still going to show you how I'm going to cut the collar and the, the long collar it has at the front. So please follow us and see how we're going to go about it. I'm going to connect what I have marked now. I will connect it together, which I have done. So this is my zipper allowance. You can, you can, you can see it's there. The zipper allowance is there. So I'll go ahead to cut out what I have marked. I will just cut it out. So please, this is the first time I've seen this video. You are welcome. And if you have been following us and you can be seeing our video, thank you so much, so much for always stopping by. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for always saying hello and always stopping by to our channel. So please do well to hit the subscribe button so that anytime we upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Please hit the subscribe button and follow us for more. And please watch this video to the end. We are still coming. We are still going to show you how we are going to cut out the design. Then the hand is going to have a, a, it's going to have an elastic hand. Yes, I'm going to add elastic to the hand. So please do where to follow us and see the full video. So just cutting it out now. I hope you can actually see how I have cut it. If you can see the chalk properly, that is by the cutting, with the cutting you can see it very well. So you can see it. So as you can see, I have cut down the neck. I'll cut down the neck now. By one, I, I brought it down by one and a half inches. Then I'll slant my shoulder by half inches. So I'll still bring down the neck. Let me just bring down the neck by two. I brought it by first by one and a half inches, but I'm going to bring it down again by two. So that the neck is going to be the last, it's not going to be too high, it's not going to be too tall. So that's why I'll I will be bring put add an extra um half inches to bring it down. So you can see it. So this is I'll just notch my zipper allowance. Notch my zipper allowance. So I'm going to open the, the open that is going to have at the front. That is the design. I'll just add a little open at the front. Let me just make it um eight inches. So from that edge, they just cut it. So I will just notch my zipper allowance. You can see that I. I open the open that it has at the front is I, I brought it down by eight inches. Let us stand depending on how open you want your own to be. So you can see the how I have cut the neck, how it's going to be. So I'm going to cut out or the the what I'm going to use for the facing. That is what I'm going to use for this facing. The design is going to have at the facing that long something is going to have. I'm going to show you. So let me just cut the hand first before I get to that point. So the sleeve length, the normal sleeve length, the long sleeve is um, 21 inches. But I'll add an extra 2 inches because I'm going to fold it then add my elastic. The hand is going to have elastic. So I'll add extra 2 inches for that folding allowance that it's going to have there. So 21 plus 2 inches, that is 22 that is 23 inches, but I'll just make everything 22 and a half inches. Because I'm just trying to manage my fabric, so it will, it's going to be enough for what I'm going to cut. So you can see, just cover my armhole line like this. 
then just like that just leave the you don't need to get that at uh, that um downside that is the round, the round sleeve the rent the round sleeve length you don't need to add any you don't need to get the measurement that that's your round sleeve you don't need to get your normal round sleeve measurement the only thing you need to do is just to cut it out then when you add your elastic you're going to add the elastic to the when you fold your fabric you add your elastic to it then you get your normal round sleeve and shape the clothes so this is the the other hand so I hope you can see it very well when I add my 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 shoulder to my clothes then I will now add elastic to the round sleeve this is my round sleeve I will just match my fabric. So many people used to ask us whether we which we normally measure our armhole before cutting it out. Yes, you can measure. You can measure your armhole. You can, but it's not a must. Me, I don't normally measure mine. I used to use my head to draw my armhole line. You understand? So this is how the elastic is going to be when I add my um the clothes, the sleeve line to the main clothes. This is how it's going to look. Now add my elastic. So back to what I was saying before, this is the design I told you that it's going to have at the front. I'm going to use the same material, you understand? So just, the only thing you need to do is just to put a pepper gum to the, add pepper gum to the, then iron it very well, fit it to the clothes like this, then you, you join the both shoulders together, shape your clothes, slint your armhole line, then you shape it. Thank you so much for watching.